the state of Illinois has now submitted their arguments to the Supreme Court on why the Supreme Court should deny the immediate emergency review of the state of Illinois' ban on so-called assault weapons and also so-called large capacity magazines. Right now, the Supreme Court has a case sitting in front of them that could help to strike down all assault weapon bans, all magazine bans nationwide, and they could do that right here and now if they wanted to. This is an important case called NAGR v. the City of Naperville, and it's a challenge to a city ordinance which banned the sale and purchase of so-called assault weapons and magazines. And it's a lawsuit which also challenges the state of Illinois ban, which is the PIC Act, which is also a ban on the sale and purchase of rifles and magazines. And right now this case has been submitted to the Supreme Court on an emergency basis. It's in front of Justice Amy Coney Barrett, and Justice Barrett has demanded that the city of Naperville and also the state of Illinois file a response and defend the constitutionality of their current bans. And today we just received a response from the state on why this ban is in their eyes constitutional and why the Supreme Court does not need to intervene in this case. Now, before we dive deeper into what the state just argued to the Supreme Court, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Kershaw Knives. Kershaw makes some of the best knives available right now on the market for your everyday carry. And just recently, Kershaw dropped a new line of knives that you can pick up. I carry a Kershaw knife every single day for my EDC. I cannot recommend them enough. And right now, if you order through their website using the code 23SCHOLAR20, you can get 20% off of your order and free shipping on orders of $100 or more. So head on over to Kershaw Knives, use that code, and pick yourself up a really high quality EDC knife. So for those of you who may not be up to date with what's going on in the state of Illinois or what this NAGR lawsuit currently is, in simplest terms, the state of Illinois has a ban in place on the sale and purchase of so-called assault weapons and also so-called large capacity magazines. The state passed the Protect Illinois Communities Act or the PIC Act, and also at issue in this case is a city ordinance that was put in place in the city of Naperville. In this case, the plaintiffs originally filed a motion for a preliminary injunction to the district court. However, on review, the district court denied the plaintiff's motion for a preliminary injunction. The plaintiffs then in response to that appealed that district court decision. This case then went in front of the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals and the plaintiffs filed for a motion for injunction pending appeal in the Seventh Circuit. But the Seventh Circuit also denied that motion. Now, currently, the plaintiffs are seeking emergency immediate review by the Supreme Court. What this means is that the plaintiffs want the Supreme Court to step in and find that the district court and the Seventh Circuit should have granted their injunction. And therefore, they're requesting that the Supreme Court issue an injunction on their own. Of course, if that happened, that would have huge, amazing implications for a current 2 a litigation right now. It would impact not just this case, but really any other case currently which is challenging a state ban or a city ban on magazines or rifles. This emergency application here in the NAGR case was submitted to Justice Barrett, and she was the one who got the request because she is responsible for uh, these types of emergency motions which come out of the Seventh Circuit. And in response to this emergency application, Justice Barrett demanded that the city and the state of Illinois respond to the emergency application. Now, this case is even more important right now because we just saw a decision coming out of a different federal district court in Illinois, and that was the Barnett v. Raul case. That case was ruled in favor of us, which means that the district court judge there in that case, McGlynn, found that the state of Illinois ban on rifles and magazines was indeed a violation of the Second Amendment. However, the state then went around that district court judge and sought an emergency stay from the Seventh Circuit, and a single anti-gun judge in the Seventh Circuit granted the state's stay, which means that now the ban on rifles and magazines went back into effect. To make matters even worse, we have now seen reports that the state is now openly saying that they will enforce the ban against anyone who purchased items during this almost week-long period where an injunction was in place. Obviously, that's very concerning, especially for gun owners in Illinois. But I think all of these developments, all this current action in the state of Illinois, in the current kind of police reports that maybe they would take action against people who purchased during the preliminary injunction, may ultimately force the Supreme Court's hand and ultimately force them to step in. Now, the state has filed their argument in response to that order issued by Justice Barrett. And in their response, the state argues that applicants' extraordinary request to enjoin a presumptively valid state statute 
while their interlocutory appeal is pending in the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit should be denied. Applicants have not attempted to make and cannot make the essential threshold showings that this court would be likely to grant certiari in this interlocutory appeal or that an injunction pending appeal would be in aid of this court's jurisdiction. Beyond that, applicants have not shown that this is indisputably clear that they will prevail on their claim that the Protect Illinois Communities Act violates the Second Amendment, nor could they since this court has not addressed a Second Amendment challenge to a law similar to the act. And after applying the two-step framework set forth in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, two district courts have declined to enjoin the act, and four more district courts have declined to enjoin similar laws. These decisions confirm it is not indisputable that applicants will succeed on the merits of their claim. Applicants also have failed to show that crucial and exigent circumstances exist that would require this court's immediate intervention. So something I want to point out right here, which the state is openly arguing. Uh, first, they say that two district courts have already upheld this type of ban using the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin two-step framework. Interestingly, the state of Illinois is still arguing for a two-step approach, despite the fact that Justice Thomas, in the Bruin opinion, said that they should never use the two-step approach, and in fact that the two-step approach was one step too many. Despite that, as we've seen by the lower courts, like here in Illinois, they are still trying to mold that Bruin decision in a way that still protects these bans, and they're still trying to use some so uh, sort of and some framework of a two-step approach. Also, the state is arguing that the Supreme Court has never addressed a challenge which is similar to the PIC Act, and that's simply just not true. They haven't directly struck down an assault weapons ban or a magazine ban, but they have addressed cases which deal with arms in common use for lawful purposes, and they've addressed laws which categorically ban those types of items. The Supreme Court found in those cases, for example, Caetano in the stun gun case, they found that stun guns were in common use for lawful purposes, and therefore they could not be categorically banned. And also we've seen the Heller case, which dealt with a categorical ban on handguns. So this argument that the Supreme Court has not faced a similar issue is just not true. Then later in the response, we see the state argue that uh, this type of issue is just not yet ripe for the Supreme Court review, that they should simply just wait for the Seventh Circuit to rule on these issues, uh, rule in this case NAGR, which is currently pending before the Seventh Circuit, and maybe even wait until the Barnett case, which is currently also before the Seventh Circuit. Traditionally, Supreme Court does not like to take on interlocutory issues like we're dealing with here, which is a preliminary injunction uh, denial appeal is really what this is. They often prefer to deal with final resolutions uh, when cases are finally decided, either by a full trial, a full hearing, or something like a motion for summary judgment. But I think with these two cases currently going right now with the NAGR case and the Barnett case, along with the state of Illinois recently saying that they will in fact go after state residents who purchased these types of items during the injunction period. I think that all adds more force to why the Supreme Court needs to step in right here and now. And it adds to the argument that there is going to be clear harm that is imposed on gun owners in Illinois and why the Supreme Court needs to step in right now and to protect those individuals, especially those individuals who under the Barnett case uh, went out and purchased these types of rifles, these types of magazines, because there's an injunction in place. And now all of a sudden you have the state saying, nope, we're going to go after those people as well. There's clearly going to be harm that is suffered to gun owners in the state. And therefore, in my opinion, at least, I think the Supreme Court needs to step in right here and now. We will wait anxiously to see how the Supreme Court will address this, but if you're interested in maybe what's going on in a different state, in a different lawsuit, like the California Magazine lawsuits or the California Assault Weapons Ban lawsuits, you can watch this video here. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.